Boom. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Demonique and today I'm going to talk about the five different items that I cannot live without. Um, these are items that I use either every day or multiple times a week. If you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Let's get started. My first favorite thing that I cannot live without is this CeraVe. I'm never sure if I'm fully pronouncing this right. CeraVe, CeraVe, um, the foaming facial cleanser. And this one is the one for oily skin. I started using this, I don't know, maybe four years ago or so. Um, my roommate put me on it and I haven't been able to put it down. At first it was like $15 and then they lowered the price down to $10. Um, so that was a good thing. But even when I was paying like $15 for this, uh, it lasted like three months. Even though I used it morning and night. But I really love it. Um, I used to have like these little bumps on my face and they're like underneath the skin and nothing that I used would ever get rid of them. But whenever my roommate told me about this, I went and bought it and I used it every single day, twice a day, morning and night. I really, really do love it. Um, the next thing I have is the Clinique Take the Day Off. Um, this is the cleansing balm. I also have the cleansing oil but I prefer the balm over the oil. I just don't like the way it feels on my face. It, it feels just yucky, but I do prefer the cleansing balm. Um, I use this every day when I get home from work to take off my makeup. Um, I also use it when I'm filming and I have to take all of this off and it takes everything off. Now, people would say like um, on other YouTube videos that I watched before I bought it that it doesn't burn their eyes. It does sting a little bit. I will say that for me, um, whenever I take off my eye makeup, I'll kind of massage it around my eyes. Sometimes a little bit does get in there. It doesn't burn too bad, but it takes off all of my makeup, which is important if you want to keep clear skin. All right, so the next two items are I use in the shower. First thing I have is this dusty. Um, Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. This is the pomegranate seed and shea butter one. Um, my other friend put me on this um, a while ago and I went and bought it. She put it on Snapchat. I was like, ooh, that looks really fancy. So on the way home, I stopped at Walgreens and I picked this up and I used it that night and I just rub it all over my skin, especially my legs and my arms. And I rub it for a good two to three minutes while I'm in the shower. And when I let it rinse off, my skin felt so smooth. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was using this every day, which I don't think is recommended, but I was using this stuff every day. And my skin, my skin felt so, so good. Um, they have other scents in this, but this is my favorite, the pomegranate one. It, it smells smells so good yeah so I really I really like this stuff when it gets cold and my skin gets a little bit drier another thing I like to use in the shower are these aromatherapy shower tablets this is the lavender and berries I got these from Ulta and Casey Holmes uh, put me on these she's another youtuber I use these because I hate taking bubble baths I hate baths I just feel like I'm sitting in your own dirty soup, kind of just festering. So I don't really care for baths, so I use these. And I use this whenever I need a really good night's sleep because it's lavender. And I just throw these um, on the bottom of the shower and all the fumes and the lavender starts coming in. And it just, it's so relaxing. I go to bed and I sleep so good with these and I think these were like two for seven dollars so I got two packs of them and you get four tablets and the last thing that I have is my Mario Badescu spray this one is in lavender cam chamomile and aloe I've mentioned this before um, I use this stuff all the time I'm telling you I don't even be wearing makeup and I'll just start spraying my face 
it smells good and it always makes my skin feel really really soft um, I also use it whenever I use a lot of powders on my face just to melt everything together I know it's not a setting spray but I use it as a setting spray but I also use it um, at night after I've taken off all my makeup with the take the day off from Clinique and I use it just to put some moisture back in my face but so those are the five things that I cannot live without thanks guys for watching my top five favorites video or things I can't live without I hope you enjoyed my video don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time bye